up there. Yeah. We'll go for lunch. Okay, so we're going along uh, Hagai Road, and we're in number 14. And number 14 is uh, discrimination in the mind. Oh, 14. Um, oh, yes, so where's the mine? Where are the mines? Where's the mine? Where are the mines? Do you know where, where are the mines? The mines? mines? Yeah, coal mines. Where are the coal mines? Number, number five, five mine. mine. So number five mine. So the an, an amendment to the coal mines regulation act. I know it's all here somewhere. Oh, but not necessarily. Not necessarily right. This will, I don't think it's that close to. Oh. To here. You know, yeah. I think it's further, further that way. Yeah, Prohibited the employment of Chinese workers underground. But Dunsmere Union Coal Company and then the Canadian Colliers, mm. Dunsmere Limited, uh, ch chose to ignore, ignore this act and employ Chinese miners anyway. Number two mine, 1891-1899, was mined almost exclusively by Chinese miners. It was not until the early 1920s that Chinese labor in the mines began to be phased out following government pressure. The 1923 Chinese Immigration Act that effectively banned entry of Chinese people to Canada, except diplomats, merchants, and students, and an overall decline in the coal mining industry. More than 175 Chinese workers died in the Cumberland coal mines. The newspaper of the day did not document the names of all the miners who died, nor who were injured and later died. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's oh, move on. I can on. go with that too. Yeah. Okay, so here, one more picture here. You can take a picture of me and them.